Dustin Poirier will walk away as a champion. I like to think that he will no matter what. I really have a feeling that Dustin Poirier will have his last fight against Islam Makhachev. He has shown that he's one of the best in the UFC. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, no question. He's going to be one of the best in the division forever, no question. And if he wins, it'll just be the cherry on top for a amazing, an amazing career for Dustin Poirier. And I think there's just no better way to walk away from that. Let's talk about Dustin Poirier real quick. Because I, I want to point out a few things. Uh, let's see. So, Dustin Poirier, real quick. I'm going to just look it up real quick. Just, this, just a little career recap for you guys. He's been in the UFC since 2010, right? He has, I'm going to just say notable wins he or, or fights he's had. He had a fight with Max Holloway in uh, 2012. And then he had a, he has also lost to Conor McGregor in 2014. And then he also, who else is, he, he beat Bobby Green. Uh, he fought Jim Miller. He lost to Eddie Alvarez. Oh, that's a no contest, my bad. Anthony Pettis, Justin Gaethje. He beat Eddie Alvarez. He beat Max Holloway again. Um, Let me see, where's, yeah, he beat Max Holloway again. And then he lost to uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. <laughs> then he uh, fought and beat Dan Hooker. And then he beat Connor twice. Lost to Charles. Beat Chandler. Lost to Gaethje. Beat Benoit Saint Denis. Is now is fighting Islam Makachev. I know a lot of Twitter talk, a lot of MMA talk, all this shit. Right? We talk about resumes. We talk about like all that stuff, but. And, and, and I'm not saying this just to say this, but Dustin Poirier has one of the most decorated resumes in the UFC in, in any division. He has fought the best at 155. He's been so long in that division, and he's fought in the best at 155. And I think that's going to play a factor in the fight, of course, with that experience with being with so many different guys. So that's the first thing I want to point out on on Dustin Poirier. The second thing is the fight against Benoit Saint Denis. That fight against Benoit Saint Denis was a, a, a first of all coming off a loss. Justin Gaethje, basically a title eliminator. You lose the fight. He's very open afterwards after he beats Benoit, but he's very open on how down he was after that fight against Justin Gaethje and uh, and Dustin Poirier made it pretty clear I think after the Charles fight that he didn't want to fight upcoming dogs he's like I'm not fighting people that are coming up I don't want to be the guy to beat for a title shot or to move up in the rankings I would just you know he he wants to fight mega fights you know like a Connor fight something like that and then he goes and does the complete opposite and fights Benoit Saint Denis but he knew Benoit Saint Denis knew. I don't think us as fans really knew, but I think he he had to know if he would have won and if he would have won with style, a guarantee title fight. But anyways, right? He he takes a fight that he's not supposed to take against Benoit Saint Denis. Nobody wanted him to take the fight. We as fans thought he was crazy for taking the fight. And then he goes to Benoit Saint Denis. Benoit puts the pace and the pressure on DP. And it is all over Dustin Poirier. And, and Dustin Poirier, I don't know how he does it because I watched a few fights today of him. And he eats these shots and then he finds your fucking chin. He digs your body and then puts you down. And that's what he did to Benoit. And to do that to someone like Benoit Saint Denis on the run that he was having, the way he destroyed, uh, as a Fravola or Favela, like Matt, he just completely cut off the ring with that leg kick and knocked him out. Like that's what Ben Watson Denise was coming off of, and Dustin Poirier coming off a massive loss. Ben Watson Denise, if he would have won, he's fighting Islam Makhachev, and then Dustin Poirier gets there and gets it done, and it's just like, oh my god! And and people called me crazy for saying that Dustin Poirier deserved a title shot, but I even I was like, bro, the schedule's lined up for Dustin Poirier. They just do so. He got his title shot, and, and, and now we're going to have it Saturday night. So that's the last fight. And then, let's see. Um, 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 okay, so obviously, Dustin Poirier is towards the end of his career. It's pretty clear. 
I didn't think that I was ever going to see Dustin Poirier get a third title shot. I don't know if there's ever been anyone who's gotten a third title shot in the UFC without winning it, right? Because he's he's fell short twice, been subbed twice. He hasn't won a title. He's won an interim champ, but it's, it's not undisputed. So this is his last chance for a title. For him to try and make another run to get himself up there, it just won't happen. And to talk about the run itself, guys, this is what Dustin Poirier had to do for the first title shot. Let's let's take a peek here. So he he fought, who was it? Khabib, right? He fought Khabib. He had to, to beat Anthony Pettis, Justin Gaethje, Eddie Alvarez, Max Holloway. Then he got his title shot against Khabib. And then he lost, right? He lost. Okay, he loses. He beats Dan Hooker, beats Conor McGregor twice. No one has ever slept Conor McGregor except for Dustin Poirier. He does that the first time, then beats him the second time, right? And then he gets his second title shot against Charles Oliveira. And then he loses. He has to be Michael Chandler, who was the runner-up against Charles Oliveira for a title shot. So it made sense for him to fight Michael Chandler. He fights Michael Chandler, beats him, and then he fights Justin Gaethje and gets knocked the fuck out, right? But then he bounces back and beats Benoit Saint-Denis. And the reason why that, that win Benoit Saint-Denis was so big, you know, you're coming off a knockout loss. You've never been knocked out in your career, and uh, you'd lost, which... Well, it has happened, but you have never been knocked out like that and, and you lost, right? And then you also defeated a guy who was high in the rankings, who nobody wanted to fight, who people were scared of, and they knew that this guy, Benoit Saint-Denis, was going to fight for a title. And I'm pretty sure he will in the future because he's still young in the game. So he, and then he, he beats Michael Chandler and Benoit Saint-Denis for his third title shot and the only reason why he's getting that title shot is because islam Makachev doesn't like fucking fighting for some reason when he's champion only reason only reason the schedule is lined up perfectly and dustin poirier what he has done and what he has shown us every time he loses a title shot he manages to bounce back and find a way to get another title shot and he bounces back with impressive performances he bounces back with the scariest guys and puts them away Justin Gaethje, Benoit Saint-Denis, Michael Chandler, Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez. Think about those names. Conor McGregor. Like, bro, what? That's what he had to do, and that's what he's doing to get his third title shot. And, and I don't want to see people picking on Dustin Poirier and all that shit and talking him down. Because that dude, I mean, his resume is just crazy. All right. So that, that's another point of Dustin Poirier that I just want to point out. All right, so will Dustin Poirier retire after Saturday night, whether he wins or loses? I don't know. I don't know if Dustin Poirier will retire. I would think if he lost, he retires. No question. I, I just don't see him fighting anymore. Not that there's no point of fighting, but if you fall short for the third time and you made amazing runs for each title, I just think it's just time to walk away if he loses. No disrespect. I just, I mean, there's just, it's just a good way to walk out. You don't want to walk out with, you know, multiple losses in a row, things like that. Just walk away your last title shot if you lose, right? But if he wins, what if, what happens if he wins? I, I feel part of me thinks that Dustin Poirier will walk away as a champion. But the other part of me is like, bro, what if Dustin Poirier becomes champion and he just wants to make a nice title reign, you know, and then he'll retire when he loses the belt. So I don't know if he'll retire. I like to think that he will no matter what. I really have a feeling that Dustin Poirier will have his last fight against Islam Makhachev. Even if he wins or loses, I just feel like he has shown that he's one of the best in the UFC. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, no question. He's going to be one of the best in the division forever, no question. And if he wins, it'll just be the cherry on top for a amazing, an amazing career for Dustin Poirier. And I think there's just no better way to walk away from that. But I understand how hard it will be to walk away as a champion because now you got your title run and you got to just see how good you are as a champ. And imagine Dustin Poirier having a fucking title run and just beating guys, like defending his title. Like it would be crazy. It would be awesome to see. So I don't know if it'll be his last fight. I don't want it to be, but I have a feeling that it will be. So I'll just make sure, and we all got to make sure that we just make the most of Saturday night with this Dustin Poirier. It'll, it'll, it could be his last one. We just don't know. And um, 
with that being said as well, like that makes Dustin Poirier just so much dangerous because he has nothing to lose. Not in, not saying that he's going to go in there reckless, but he he's going to be in there like I got to put this guy away if I want to win or if I want to win and continue my career, you know, because maybe in his head is like if I lose, like I'm done, I'm done doing this. So I don't know, man. I really don't. But uh, it'll just be interesting to see, and we'll just see how how it goes, right? And uh, I think this is the this is the last last thing I want to point out of of Dustin Poirier, and then we move on to Islam. So Dustin Poirier knocked out Conor McGregor. Think about that for a second. Dustin Poirier knocked out the notorious Conor McGregor, the revolutionary man of the UFC. Conor McGregor is the only fighter in the UFC who has crossed, you know, sports to fight boxing, to fight in boxing against Money Mayweather. Um, he's the biggest star in the UFC. He's one of the biggest stars in the world, one of the biggest athletes in the world, one of the most richest athletes in the world. There's so many accolades to Conor McGregor, right? It's crazy. He's probably not to say he's an alcoholic, but likes to have a good time. And Dustin Poirier put his lights out. Knocked him out cold. Not cold, but he knocked him out. Had him asleep. Had him going to sleep. That's what Dustin Poirier did to Conor McGregor. A lot of people might say, oh, Conor McGregor was watched, this, this, and that. But he did it to the biggest star in the UFC on the biggest stage. Again, you know, because that's what Dustin Poirier did. And he didn't do it just once. He did it twice. He beat Conor twice. You know who couldn't sleep, Connor? Khabib couldn't sleep, Connor. He 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 choked him out. Yes, he tapped him, but he didn't sleep, Connor. He didn't knock out Connor. The referee didn't have to get involved to pull away the the guy. Like he had a, the the referee had to pull away Dustin Poirier to stop the fight because Connor was gonna die if Dustin Poirier would have kept going. That's what Dustin Poirier did. And I don't know if people think about that in this fight. I know it was a few years ago, but Dustin Poirier has been in the biggest stage in the UFC against the biggest man in the UFC and knocked him out. That shit's crazy. It's bonkers. And he's been the only one to this day to do it. That's who Dustin Poirier is, man. And we got to put some respect on Dustin Poirier and I really think he's going to get it done on Saturday. So we'll just have to see what happens. But 